let us use computer keyboard let's begin with the windows key if you press this windows key you will get start menu popped up if you don't want just press escape key this will uh, cancel any opened menu now before proceeding with the alphabetical keys let's open notepad in this notepad there is a blinking cursor which indicates where the keyboard input will be provided now let's type something hi you can see it on the notepad if you want a space you can press this long key you will get one single space if you press press it once i want to type hi but this time i want h in upper case for that hold shift key there are two shift keys in a regular keyboard key, keyboard and uh, you can hold any of them hold shift key and press h you will get upper case h then i will leave shift key and press i i if i want to move to the new line i can press enter key if you press enter as indicated in this uh, key itself cursor will go to new line beginning of the new line now let me type good by holding shift g o o d suppose i have typed something by mistake i want to remove it how as you can see there is a backspace key you press it and your input will be removed one character at a time now let's try some arrow keys arrow keys used to control movement of the cursor or to scroll a document now i want to move cursor to the line above then i will press up arrow key this is up arrow key i will press it cursor will move to the line above if i press left arrow key cursor will move one character left similarly you can also try down arrow key and right arrow key and if you want to the, move the cursor to the beginning of the line then you can use home key end key will move the cursor to the end of the line i will try home key cursor will move to the beginning of the line if i press end key to the end of the line now let us see what is the use of delete key delete key can be useful to delete objects and especially when you are typing text if your cursor is like this if you want to remove the character which is in the right side of the cursor you can press delete key i will press delete key now character right to the cursor is removed if i press delete key twice like this now let's try typing some fields let me type here for that you can use the uh, end key i will press end key i will i'll be here and now i want to go to new line i will type name i want to leave some spaces for that if i want to place more than one space you can use tab key now i want to type colon shift colon as you can see holding shift key will enable you to get the characters which is here on the top of the key for instance if you use these keys you will get special symbols like this let me remove these uh, symbols by pressing backspace now let me go to the new line i will type class colon oops i want to remove this colon also let me give tab 
and column as you can see tab will help you to indent your text and uh, let's try caps lock now if by default if you type your characters will be in lower case if you want all the characters to be in upper case you can use caps lock if you press this caps lock there will be an indicator to glow this is caps lock indicator now if you type all your text input will be in upper case now let's try some numbers if you want to type numbers you can use these keys just press them up so this is by typing these keys if you want to type numbers in a much faster way you can use a special numerical keypad if you want to use this and if your computer supports this keypad you can turn this section on by pressing this num lock now if you press num lock this indicator will indicate now you can type numbers in a faster way there is a hum to indicate uh, five and enable touch typing I'll type few numbers into three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, let's see a special key. This is context menu key. If you right click anywhere in this document, you will this you will get this context menu. If you want to get this menu without clicking right mouse button, then you can just press this button. You will get context menu. If you don't want this context menu, just press escape. Now, let's try some actions. If you want to save whatever you have typed, you can go to File and click Save to store this as a document. As you can see, in front of Save, there is something. Control plus Yes. what it is indicating let's just click it you will get a dialog box like this to save your document i will just uh, press escape and cancel this dialog box now as you may remember the shortcut for this action is control and yes let's type it in keyboard this is control key there are two control keys in your keyboard there are two alt keys also if you just press control you you need to press it and hold and yes you can see the save action as you can guess control key is used to provide some shortcuts for particular actions if you have many actions some of the actions can be associated to there are 12 function keys for them you can associate actions if you just explore these menus you will get to know uh, to go to the menus you don't need to use mouse at all you can just uh, just type alt key once you can see the changes in the menu you will get underlines below certain letters if you just press and hold alt key and press particular letter for instance to open file menu you just need to type alt f you will get like this if you want to open edit you need to press alt e so here you can see there are many shortcuts undo this is a inter interesting action suppose i have uh, i have done something by mistake for example i have removed this i want to get it back what i can do i can try undo what is the shortcut for undo control z if i hold control and z what happens you will get whatever was the previous action that previous action will be reverted whatever earlier uh, text that will be presented back similarly you can see usage of function keys to find you can use f3 to 
insert date and time you can use f5 we will just try f5 what happens i will just go to next new line and i will type f5 what happens we'll get date along with time so these are function keys we have used them and uh, we have tried few of the keys this is just basics of the keypad keyboard and uh, explore more and learn many new things thanks for watching happy learning